did so under the eyes of God. And that's why he promoted them. You can see some of God who is doing well and being promoted. Today in the gospel, you see another servant of God. And Jesus was the kind with his disciples. He was troubled in hand and said, One of you will betray me. You see, how can you expect a servant of God to be there, his master? But that what happened. He said, One of you will betray me. And the apostles were worried, Who will be the person? Who is the person that should do this? The teacher to be travel master. And they begin to ask him, who, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered them. Jesus answered, you see, it is he to whom I shall give this morsel when I have dipped it. So when he had dipped the morsel, he gave it to Judas, the son of Simon Ascarot. Then after the morsel, Satan entered into him. You see now? Satan entered into him, a servant of God, overtaken by this Satan. Hijacked. Like you see Buhari government hijacking many of some of our powerful priests. Hijacked them. Took over them. Entered them. And Jesus said to him, What are you going to do? Do, do quickly. No one in the temple knew what he was there. They were thinking he was asking to go and get some money in the boss because he's the chancellor of the apostles, but the boss of the apostles to go and get money to buy something for the poor. They didn't know what they were talking about. And he just goes on to tell them when Jesus had gone out. He said, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. And the tongue go glorify him. Yes, they are what to pay the supreme sacrifice that will glorify God is here. And grief him at once, little children. Yet a little while I'm with you, you will seek me. And as I say to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. You cannot come. Simon Peter said, <laughs> Where is that place you are going? I will come with you. I'm ready to lay down my life for you. Just say, lay, your life, lay down your life for myself, for me. Let me tell you, Peter, before they call crow, you have denied me three times. Do you see the trial? You see, if, 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 you, if, you, if this is a gift of God to you, you don't claim it. You don't think it's yours. Or you have capacity to do it. No, it's the grace of God in you. So I will lay down my life. We are talking. Those who said before they call crew, you must have died. They have died been three times. And it happened like that. That's the trial of the servants of God. Can see the trial of the one who betrayed him. Can see the trial of the one who denied him. And the trial of the one who he can do a thing by himself, not knowing that God is the who carries you along with him by his grace. And that's why the psalmist who understood this message so well today, this said, my mouth will tell of your salvation, Lord. My mouth will tell about your salvation. Because I have, have witnessed it, I've experienced it, that there's nothing I can do if not you. So my mouth will tell about your salvation, Lord. Yes. You see, that you are not tried, that you are not, that you are not possessed by the evil one, taken over by the evil one, is the grace of God for you. And your ability to be closer to the master. And separating yourself, allow anything to separate you from him. May God help us understand today that we are called to glorify God, not to deny him, not to bring misery to him. We ask through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us as we are called to glorify God. Amen. The Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all.